Welcome back, everybody. We're gonna take on a carbuncle here, and I'll show you the scene here in just a second. I accidentally pressed the. Uh, I was gonna do like a lattice refill of my energy real fast, but apparently I had just enough energy to start the fight anyway. So, uh, let's show you the team real fast. This is a 200, 210% light resistant chow. So, um, we've got Ayaka, she's our support. She can't be afflicted with stop and then everybody has confusion resistance um, I got Setzer built in true double hand for his uh, first one particular move so we're gonna boost his and we boosted his MP up a little bit this is gonna kind of help me so that I need to mute this for a while just mute this for eight hours yes go away for now thank you so, and then we have our chainers, pure summoning Rydia, and got a little MP refresh gear on them, so let's just, uh, let's get to it. Do a black magic, tornado, let's do a black magic, tornado, Monica, I don't need to do anything on her just yet, actually I'll set up her. Set up our high regen for now. Child's going to set up a uh, spiritual defender for us. He needs to cover because Ruby's going to. Ruby's going to attack us. With AoE light and imperial and whatnot. So that's kind of a real low damage. <clears throat> I guess setting him up with. A high attack stat doesn't really matter. I should have just put fixed dice on him. Even if fixed dice would have helped. Give me some extra damage. Probably should have done that. I dual wielded him before and all he attacks twice and it's eh. So that's negligible. Light magic. Tornado. We have Chow to help with uh Bursts, or I mean, with MP, because I'll have a true mana battery here. Hayek is probably about as close to it as it's gonna be. And Sensor. I got some MP regen on him as well, so. There we go. We can move it. Hayek is gonna do that. And then. I'm gonna boost. Okay, I want to boost the stop resistance. So, there we go. Get healed. That HP should come back the next turn. If not, I just got a pure guy. I can go down. I just got most of her MP back with her refresh. I put her Trust Mastery on her. Her pure white blessing because it gives her a lot. I think she gets 5% in her kit, and this gets, I think, another 10 to 15%. Or she has 10% in her kit, and this gives her another 10. I, either way, I think she gets boosted to 20%. I think. Don't quote me on it. Maybe if somebody knows, you can probably put that in the comment section. But huh? I'm fairly certain it's in the 15 to 20% mana regen range, so. Completely carrying Setzer's MP problem, but you know it's a it's a huge dent to where I was. You know, but my other mages are I'm running out of MP real fast, especially with Lexaw. I don't think she has any MP regen built in her kit. These 
four star. I don't have Barbara Gisha or I'd be using her because she has she has an excellent mana battery. I don't know if I don't know if Kid Rydia is. I'll have to look. I should just set her skills. Let's see. I don't think she has anything. No, but oh, but I can't chain and use that. Never mind. Boosting magic. I don't see anything about mana battery. I know she's got it built into her kit. Plus, I put uh, I put one on her to help a little bit more. But what have you? It is what it is. There's nothing I can do about it now. That's pretty good. I can. Go ahead and summon Dark Messenger and get the Esper summon over with. Get my spiritual defender put back on. So, we got our dark damage put on. Ruby has some really insane spirit and defense stats. These are just her defenses. Uh, 9,999 and her spirit defensive score is 3,000. So, And she has 30 million hit points. It's, it's a little on the ridiculous side. Chow doesn't need to do anything, so you know what? I can do white magic and have him cure. That's really all I need him to do right now. I don't have his limb reverse yet, which is baffling to me because I have everyone else's. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do this. It just doesn't matter. I'm gonna use 50 MP anyway. Go black magic, tornadoes. I should just use. Instead of using Rydia and Lexa, I have two Kid Rydias, and I should have, that's what I should have just done. Because at least I'm using two 5-star bases, and they both have mana regen on them. That's what I should have done. Just stupid. I don't know why I went with Lexa when I have two Rydias. I'm not the, I'm not the sharpest knife in a drawer YouTube. And you can see how slow and arduous this is. We're gonna pause the recording and try to get a little deeper into the fight. Hey everybody, we're just checking back in just to show you. I am quite a few turns into this. I'm still only down to 77%. I actually stopped dual tornadoing and I'm just doing single tornadoes. As you can see here, I'll show you. And then hitting the double dice. The double dice is what's killing me because it's 77 MP every time I do it. And he hit for no damage. So we're gonna go back to pausing it and I'll fast forward it until a little bit later in the fight. All right, everybody, just checking back in with you. I'm just showing you that here we are in turn 42 and uh, we're kind of slow playing along here, making sure that I keep up my stop resistance. And of course the AOE cover. I think he still has on it, he does. Chow's such a good boy. Just doing tornado, doing sensors, double dice. And I'm I guess dedication. So, um, I'm gonna go back to kinda, I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video again and I'll bring it back up when we Whittle him down even further. I got a feeling we got another 45 turns to go before I can show you how this finishes. So I'll just uh, sit tight, everybody, and we'll come back with a, in a much better position here with uh, a lot more, a lot more of him, you know, DPS down. Alrighty, checking back in with you yet again. Seems like uh, we are doing that quite a bit in this. As you can see, I'm at turn 59 here. We're just kind of grinding along. Um, I have been using, uh, I've, cast, I've been casting Fenrir every once in a while. As you can see, that's why my characters have uh, shadows on them. So here's Chow, I'm just checking. Looks like I gotta reapply his AoE cover. So I just did that. Yeah. My attack phase, and then as soon as I get back and get into mop up duty, this is uh, kind of how things work out here. I got Chow's limit burst, so I'll be able to do an MP refresh on the team when I need to. Coming up soon. Make sure you have a bunch of turbo ethers and ethers and elixirs. 
you're gonna end up using some of this stuff. I'll show you what my items look like real quick. Um, I'm down to two of my five mega ethers. I haven't touched all the Y potions I don't need. I got so I don't need those. But my turbo ether. So, and I've got these greater potions of rejuvenation, so I can use those two in a pinch if I have to. But I got turbo ether. I got three elixirs left. So. And then, as you can see, that's not one of the achievements. It doesn't restrict your item usage, so I'm in good shape there. So I want to get these espers done. I want to use these. Uh, I want to use these two four-star tickets on the CG Nicole banner while it's still here, because it's only going to be here for today, and then it's gone. So we're gonna go ahead and pause the video again, and I'll bring it back right as we're about to kill this thing. That way, you can see it die and all that happy horse stuff that goes along with it. You'll see the turn count that I've got and this and the other. You see it's, uh, we're going along here, folks, so just bear with me, and we'll be back in just a moment. Hey, YouTube, we're back. <clears throat> As you can see, we're whittling them down. I'm hanging out here at turn 72. This fight just, it's grueling. It's not incredibly hard. You're, you're going to cycle through and make sure you have really high light resistance. Uh, I recommend having 200% because he does imperil you, and you're going to take damage from him. You know, as you can see that my chow is taking a little hit you know you, you as you're cycling through with what you see what you've seen me do with Ayaka's uh, dedication uh, sometimes it fills him back up to 100% sometimes it doesn't it depends on how much damage he gets uh, in the round in the damage round that, that carbuncle gets so um, you have your ups and downs it's kind of a roller coaster in peaks and valley this fight's incredibly boring it's really tedious it's really drawn out they made his physical defense and her his her whatever they made its spirit score really high um, let's see here I'm on the wiki here and the defensive score is 9999 the spirit score is 3000 which is a magic score of 450 and an attack score of 900 and a hundred thousand uh, this fight would be so bad if it say had only a few, you know, if it only had, you know, let's say 14, 15 million hit points. This fight would still be kind of grueling, but it is what it is. So, but we're going to fast forward because I, I can't have this video be in an hour or so. So the next time I come back to you, we'll be in the 5% the ish range and you get to see me try and kill him. So sit tight, everybody. We'll be right back. All right, you two, we are back. We're getting ready to kill him. Got him down to 40%. We're on turn 83. This fight is just brutal. It's not hard. It's boring as sin. There's just really no excitement to it. It's, it's rinse and repeat this over and over and over again. And then I put Child Spiritual Defender on, which is good because I didn't have it. Get right now. Um, you can't slip up on it, making sure his AoE cover is out because I've slipped up once. It's, it it can set you back a while. It can pro <laughs> it can probably set you back about ten turns realistically. <laughs> so it's it gets pretty brutal. Oh, we're gonna start. Uh, let's see how much damage I put on him this wave. I'm gonna have to start doing dual tornadoes just to make sure I have enough tornado. Waiting for this thing to get to about 11 before I activate it. Yeah. Let's see. I have all of her buffs on. Whatever it is. Oh, yeah, you can just go on without me. Medication. Uh, we'll motor on through here. Apply the attack, defense, and stop resist buff. And next turn, I think I'm gonna have to redo the, uh, the AOE. AOE cover. And that's fine. Okay, my turn. Let's do a dual black magic. Fire up some twin tornadoes. Whip 
close, but not. I'll bring up the double dice. Already summoned Diablos. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna summon Diablos anyway. And then a challenge and then just go ahead and I'm just gonna hit Sensor with an elixir. We'll see. We'll see Diablos come in here. I've probably summoned <laughs> uh, ten espers in this fight. So it's no big deal. And as long as you don't attack him with dark and consecutive turns, he doesn't flip the script on you. He doesn't flip, his, uh, he doesn't flip into dark mode. He gets all ham. He gets all amped up and really starts freaking out, I guess. I, I don't know. I haven't... I don't have much as far as dark weapons. You know, I could throw in CG Fina, and, but I don't, have, uh, I don't have Veritas in the dark, so... I do have dark Finas, but they're useless compared to what I have now on this team, you know, with this team, so. Let's do a black magic, do a tornado. Here I thought when I got him down to four percent, I kick it on here or seven percent. I kick the YouTube video on, we kill him in two or three turns. But as you can see, you just get in these ruts where it takes a while to get any damage on him. And this is why the fight takes, you know, almost a hundred turns. I don't know how. Uh, I don't know how Sinzar got him in forty some turns. He got really lucky with the uh, the damage RNG, but I'm getting completely hosed. Longer, I can well, I can for a little bit with you, but Lexa, Lexa's taking an MP hit. I got the one percent. So, we did the, we put some damage on him, which was good. Let's see what we have to do. I think I have to put my stop protection back on. Yes, I do. Stop protection on boost attack defense and stop resist. Aika, you're gonna do this again. And really, this is all I've been doing. You're watching it here. It's boring as sin. And this fight's still gonna be 20 minutes. And that's with all the, the cutouts that I've been doing. Imagine, you know, imagine if I kept the recording going this whole time. This video would be an hour long and none of you would watch it. I wouldn't blame you. I'm not gonna watch this fight for an hour, it's stupid. This is just one of those really tedious things that, uh, you know, I, that I don't like. I don't make these fights so tedious like this. Where it's just rinse and repeat the same thing. You know, I like, you know, I like some of those other trial fights. we have enough to kill him. Hopefully he dies this next turn, because uh, we're on, what, turn 89? 88, you know? I can't read with the uh, ruby mischief going on. Okay, turn 88. So hopefully we can kill him before uh, 
Hopefully kill him before turn 90. I'll turn 89 for us. Okay, so hopefully he dies this turn. Ruby, I, or Carbuncle, I really need you to die. Just please die. Please. Pretty please. Sugar, cherries on top, you know. With green. Yeah. gonna kill him and he died Woohoo! we killed him on turn 89 let's go YouTube hype hype for the epically short video oh my goodness Wow blah 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 Got everything. Defeated Carbuncle with magic. We evoked Diablos. I evoked him several times. Party of five or less. We're in there. We completed the quest, so we're good. So, and I'm gonna close out the video. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and comment. And as always, take it easy, YouTube.